Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're here on Tingis and this is part two where we're gonna continue developing our animal blocks. Now in part one we started drawing animal blocks and I'm gonna be drawing more today. Uh, but also in part one we've got an infinite number of pottery sales, well practically infinite, and we're earning a ton of money and we reach a thousand people, dealt with the first invasion and now we're gonna be developing our blocks, feeding our people, fighting off the further invasions and uh, just seeing if the animal blocks will work. All right, so let's go ahead and get things started. All right, here we are back in Caesar 3. Look at this, we're, we're making so much money and I think uh, we gotta start feeding our people. So let me just slow things down here and figure out where I actually want uh, this stuff to go. I think I'm gonna drop down a market. Now I was thinking if I wanted two, uh, was that two? Let me move this doctors over there. Uh, two types of food, but I don't think we should. I don't think we should. I'm also gonna just put a second market here. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Don't worry about that. Uh, I was thinking if I wanted to give two types of food, but I don't think it's a good idea because we need a high population, but not high prosperity. So two types of food would get us to Grand Insulase, but I don't think we need Grand Insulase because Prosperity 45 is pretty low. I'm gonna drop two houses here because we're gonna have this road come out this side through this granary. One, two, three. We're gonna have a road come out like that. And we're gonna need... You know, I should probably have a Prefecture and Engineers post here. If I move this because it's just gonna be safer, because this road is gonna extend like this. And it might be good to have like a house there and a couple houses there, so that we could actually have this road sort of touch these houses from the back. That seems like a good idea. Okay, so we're gonna start getting uh, some food distributed here. So I probably should put down a couple more wheat farms, like that. Four wheat farms should be more than enough for this. We're actually already grabbing, because it's two markets, it's gonna grab quite a bit of food in one go. So we're gonna start feeding the snake block, but also, while that's going on, uh, I want to keep drawing, uh, keep drawing animals and stuff like that on the map, because we're going for a whole Nazca lines theme, right? So we've got our duck, we've got our spider, we've got our butterfly, which I have been told, I'm gonna slow this down. I've been told this is still not symmetrical, and I think this will, symmetrify the wings, right? <laughs> I think I finally got it right. It's been so hard to get the symmetrical because it's all like tilted, uh, so it's hard to see exactly how it is. Uh, so, in chat earlier, someone asked for a snail. I think Aram28 and Grim Toadstool asked for a snail, and I think I can do a snail. Um, so I think I can just draw a snail like down here or something. Let let's draw a snail, all right? Uh, snail would fit quite nicely here. So we're gonna do the shell and it's gonna be kind of like a spiral. Now, I've thought about this. We don't have to uh, populate every area. We're just gonna draw animal blocks until we're happy with them. Let me get around these trees a little bit. Actually, let, let's just shift the whole thing over. Don't worry, we have money to waste. I know it doesn't look like we have a lot of money, but we actually do. <laughs> we just wait for it to come in. Uh, so we're gonna have the spiral shell like this. So it's kind of like our spiral design. Then we're gonna need to draw out this way. And then we're gonna have something like this. One more down, like that. And then we have... They have like little antennas, right? <laughs> Maybe this should be there. A little slimmer right there. Snail? Maybe it's a little too long? I should probably like shift over one. Right? So it's like that, that looks good, that looks good. Yeah, they have like little antenna things, right? And that's a snail. So if I were to do a snail block, we've got that. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Uh, these houses have evolved, they need more religious facilities, so I think the gods are currently displeased, so I, we do need to just sort of get more temples going. 
So I guess I could have a row of temples here. Right? Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. How do I want to position this? Mercury. Uh, Mars. No, not there. Uh, I need to sort of make sure that it has access to housing. Or maybe I should just start putting housing around. I'm not sure. Let's just go... Yeah, I'm just gonna go Mars-Venus. Like that. Just to try and get the gods happy and also to provide religious access. So this is also gonna provide enough priests to just sort of walk around to cover this entire snake block with religious access, which is gonna be good. Let's wait for this to come through, I think. Some of these should start sending out, yeah, there we go. That garden is gonna mess up some of the walkway, so I'm gonna remove that. This is actually causing a problem as well. They're treating that as a road. <laughs> so let's uh, shift that to maybe small statues, yeah? like that. And see, we just made our money back, so not concerned at all. So that's now evolved. They need entertainment now. Okay. And more people are slowly m moving in. We're short by 33, but these houses should fit quite a lot of people. They now need entertainment, so how do I want to do this? Hmm. Well, with, uh... I think I can move, like, the prefecture and engineer's post over this side. Clear that, and we'll just put down a theater for now, right? That should work. I think that should work. And also, while we're at it, we'll plaza up the base of the snake right there. That's looking good. We might need a bit more food, I think. What's the range on this? There. Okay, and this road is gonna need to come down like that. So that should provide housing access to this to this road. Uh, Alex777 asks, any news on Ymir? I heard on Steam that it has been updated. Yes, it just got an update and he's added more stuff in. It's looking good, but it's still, it's still in the works. It's in the works. Hmm. RM28 says, the antenna on the snail should have circular ends. I don't know how to, how to depict that. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, enough food seems to be coming in. These now need schools. So I guess we could put a school right here. Yeah, okay. Theatres do work without actor colonies. Excuse me about that. Uh, strangely, just have to raise my chair. Uh, they strangely work without actor colonies. Uh, I probably should put down an actor colony at some point, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, it'll be part of the destination walk, and we're actually getting these up to small casas now. Um, meanwhile, I want to clear off a bit of space on this side. So I can have a warehouse. I'm going to get rid of all these houses on the end here. And I'm gonna put a warehouse right here. And this is gonna be set to accepting weapons. And we can now import weapons. Because that's gonna allow us to get a few extra, well, a few legions, let's import that. Is it a land trade route or a sea trade route? It is the sea trade route, okay. And on the back of that, we're gonna put down one legion fort. Which I guess I'll put on the low ground? No, no, it should be, the legion fort should be a bit more of a forward position because they move slowly. 
Yeah, I can just clear off some of these trees. Uh, fort legionaries can just get stuck right there. And I'll get an extra javelin fort on the back of this. If I place that there, will it block pathway? I don't think it will. Right there. Two more forts. Just to keep things going. We do actually have our first full javelin fort, I think. The snakes. And we'll see. I think it, it fills up by distance first. So it's going to start filling this up next. Oh, some weapons have come in. Fantastic. We did not set this to not accepting weapons. So let's fix that. Very good. Alright, so we just spent a lot of money. We just spent a lot of money. Um, but it's okay. Uh, we have filled that up. So let's just... Uh, keep the houses coming. We could also stick some houses on this side. So this side has access. All of that should be housing actually. And we can then have fountain. That's actually already covered. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we're being invaded. We're being invaded. All right, barbarians attack. Let's slow the game down. I'm gonna put this fountain down while I have the chance. Now, where are they coming from? That side, okay. Let's grab all of our troops. All right, we've only got three for now. Ah, some legionaries are coming in, fantastic. So we'll keep training things on the back of this. When we have weapons, we'll train legionaries. Otherwise, we'll train javelineers. One, two, three, four, five, we've got... Uh, need for one more fort here, but I think filling up... Do I, do I want one legion or two? I'm not sure. Alright, let's just start shooting them straight away. And we're gonna do some kiting here. Oh, they're shooting back. <laughs> oh, one got caught, damn it. All right, but we managed to kill a bunch of them before they got to us. Let's bring these guys forward and start shooting them. Thank you. Who are these guys? Numidian warriors. Saud, Salman, Nasser, Marmaduke, Suleiman, Mustafa, and Ishtar. I think, I think they don't stand a chance. Oh, is he going to escape? Mustafa. Mustafa escapes the battle. The lone survivor. Would you look at that? I think we can get away with just one legion on this map, right? Then focus on all of the the javelineers on the back of things. Looks like we've got way too much food, uh, which is good, as we're going to start feeding these people. I guess I should have extra markets around here. Um, let's... Where do I want to place another market? Like here, I think. Because this is going to be a little bit like the realistic city of... Was it Miletus? Uh, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Um, but it should be fine. We're actually low on... Money. But not to worry. <laughs> it's actually a little bit of debt. A little bit of debt. Uh, we should probably start taxing these people as well. They're probably worth taxing. So let's run... The tax collector there. So... If they walk down this way, it provides access to these houses. But it won't provide access to these houses. Okay. Oh, this fountain. I guess we should stop importing weapons for a second, right? We're kind of using up quite a bit. This fountain should actually be somewhat lower down. And not there. Right? One, two, three, four. That's actually better. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So it looks like we're in debt, but we just imported a ton of weapons. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen weapon units, which is very, very expensive. And it's November, so we've uh, already maxed our sales of pottery. And the warehouse is almost full again. We, we can sell 50 units of pottery a year. 
We could increase our imports by selling furniture as well. 25 units. I'm not sure if we want to go into that. Maybe next year. We have unemployment, so it should be okay. Ah, but basically things seem to be going along okay. And also, I, I wanted to give a shout out to MD Cramster. MD Cramster, he, he gave 500 bits when I was not live. MD Cramster, you thought you could escape me. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it. I left chat open and I saw it. MD Cramster gave 500 bits when I wasn't looking, uh, but I caught it. So thank you, MD Cramster. Mm. Now, <clears throat> this block is looking okay. We, we just gotta wait till the next year here and uh, wait for the money to come back. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking at this... what should go here? We're gonna need a barber, and that would fit perfectly there. I'm just gonna garden that up because I want to, because, yeah, some of these can still evolve. So employment, 7%. Okay, so we can set up a furniture industry here. How do I want to set up the furniture industry? We can sell 25 units a year. Do I set it up somewhere else? Or do I attach it onto something? Hmm. <laughs> the snails paved some of this. Uh, it's a bit weird. Okay, so where do I want the furniture industry? I could just sort of extend it out this way, but I'm sticking to animal blocks and it's kind of weird how this is done right now. Like, what animal could I fit here? Or here? That would actually work for a furniture industry. Now, someone suggested cat. Maybe I could do a cat face? It shouldn't take too much space, right? Oh, there we go. We're back in the white for our finances. If I just sort of clear this off a little bit. and have a sort of a... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, it won't, it won't work there, not like that. It needs to be here. If I clear off some of these trees like that, and that tree, because it needs to be sideways. But then... Ah, oh, that won't really work either. Because we can't fit the ears. Ah, oh, the cat... the cat block won't work there. Maybe I could draw it somewhere else. Maybe I can draw a cat face right here, yeah? Let me slow the game down. Um, because I don't want to build down this way. It's, uh, it's too dangerous. I think we have to build a cat face right here. So, I'm gonna draw it like this. I'm gonna start drawing it and delete trees as required. So, I'm gonna go, uh, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six should be okay. And I'm gonna clear that off. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going one more that way. So we have... <laughs> the eyes. Okay. Um... It looks off-center, but it's measuring up correctly, but it looks off-center. Why does it do that? Maybe if they're plaza, they'd look better. <laughs> I see it now, I see it now. Um, and then we're gonna have like the whiskers come out, right? So we're gonna need one, two, three. That looks weird. Um, I think it's just not big enough. I think we need a bigger cat face. Right? I don't know, maybe cat's just not a good idea. Maybe cat just isn't gonna work. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Um, 
You guys got any other suggestions? A crayfish? I don't I don't know how to do that. <laughs> do cats look different in Malaysia? I draw lines. No, they, they look pretty much the same. Uh, I just can't get it right. A bunny face. Okay, how do we draw a bunny face? So I suppose it'll be similar, right? We'll have a square. Maybe a bunny face would be easier. But then we'll need, like, the ears. Which will... come up like that. And if I clear this off a little bit... We could have, like... One side could be like a little floppy. Let's clear that off. Uh, I think this side needs a bit more weight as well. So I'm gonna extend this. So the ears look like they're the same length. Because that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna need... The two eyes. And the mouth. <laughs> it's hard to see the eyes when you, when you draw it like this. Um, they also have whiskers, but... Again, I think it might be... A little difficult to pull off whiskers at this scale. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Don't forget the teeth. How, how am I gonna draw the teeth on this? Um, how, what, it's got, look, you, there's only so much you can do with roads. How, how are you gonna draw teeth? <laughs> Maybe I just ignore the mouth, right? No, 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 we, we have to leave a little something there for the mouth. Okay. Okay, it's got crazy eyes right now. Maybe, maybe I just stick to normal eyes. Why? It looks so off-center when you do that. Okay, that, that's actually... If you look at this, it's actually... This road here is two tiles, that road there is one tile, but it looks more symmetrical. It's kind of weird. Because of the isometric thing. Should have made it bigger. Maybe I could make the face a little bigger, yeah? Oh, we've got some troops ready, at least. Okay, so the ears look okay. I like the look of the ears. Let's just uh, make the face a bit bigger, right? This this should this should work a little better. By the way, this bunny block is for <laughs> the bunny block is for furniture. It's a, for a furniture industry. One, two, one, two. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's two tiles bigger than before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is gonna complete off like that. Maybe this will give us enough space. So we're gonna need the eyes. And the nose mouth area. <laughs> Maybe if I plaza it up? No, that just doesn't look right. I'm, uh, Then the whiskers, one can be slightly longer than the other. That's uh, one, two, one, two, here. So we have like the whiskers coming out from the sides like that. I, li I like that expression. I'm gonna stick to that that sort of blank expression. Fountains for eyes. Ooh, that's an idea. Fountains for eyes. Um, let's let's bring let's put a reservoir down. Uh, we have a reservoir there. Let's um, 
let's let's get things going first. We're gonna need some houses. So I guess housing can go in the ears. And then we're gonna need some housing down these sides, just in case. And I'm gonna then can Timber Yards go on the inside of this? No, it's got to be actually adjacent. So I need to be careful with my placement here. We're going to do this. And we're going to need a bunch of prefectures to make sure nothing ever burns down. So we're going to go like, yeah, one, two, three. Probably put one there. Four. Engineer's posts as well. That should secure the block. Again, animal blocks are not... are not uh, the best. Aqueducts for whiskers? Uh, it would be able to cross over the road, but then, what, do I put a reservoir as a mouth? <laughs> but, I don't know, if it was aqueducts for whiskers, how would it look? Actually, not bad. That might actually be a good idea. That would also make the block way more functional. So if I get rid of this, that's a good idea. I draw lines. We're under attack. We're under attack. Statues for teeth. That might actually work. You guys have some good ideas. This is why I like Twitch streaming. Uh, where are we under attack from? Here. Okay. So now everyone rotate around. Okay, we'll let that keep training on the back of this. Let's go deal with these Numidian warriors. And also, um... Let me just see if I can actually... Maybe a little... shorter, yeah? It looks okay on the map. It looks a little weird here, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Uh, let me try to get these a little symmetrical. That should be a little shorter, that should be a little longer. Right? Two tiles longer? Yeah. And that's gonna be a lot more functional as well, which is important with these animal blocks. Alright, we're gonna start shooting these guys, try and lure them over to where they need to be. We're just gonna let our javelineers take some hits here, because they're free to retrain. While our legions come on in, uh, we probably should start re-importing weapons again. Alright, let's get this fight done with. Let's send those guys forward. We'll send these guys back. Ten pottery? Ten pottery? I think that's easy enough. That's our specialty. And finish them off, please. Thank you very much. Run away. Oof. They do run. Everyone go back home. Fantastic. Dealt with. Okay, so we're going to import some weapons here. Just to round this off, because we currently only have 15... Oh, we're only short by one, actually. So I guess uh, having a, sh a little bit of a surplus of weapons will be good. Now, let's slow the game down. We've got... A bit of an industry to get going. Um, you guys mentioned statues for the teeth. <laughs> it looks good on the map. Look at the map. It looks correct on the map. Okay? So I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Um, but also, we need to squeeze in like a couple houses here, a couple houses there just to make sure employment and everything is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put... Prefecture and Engineer's Post should be fine like this, actually, because this is gonna be a loop. So as long as they walk down this way, it will cover everything. So we're gonna need timber yards now, which I can go 
we're gonna, we can sell 25 a year. So let's just... How much unemployment do I have? 10%? We can always fit more. But I'm gonna go with that for now. And then I guess the workshops will go on this side, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'll go with three for now. And then the warehouse. This is very strange to deal with, okay? <laughs> this is very strange. Um, I guess it should go over that side. That, that should be okay. The warehouse can go here for accepting just furniture. That makes sense? That makes sense? Snow Warning says, I really like the butterfly block. It did turn out well, didn't it? The butterfly block. Um, but also, let's put a row of gardens here. And just plaza up this side of the butterfly because these houses need to evolve. Okay. So, this has... Well, we could, we could bring some pottery over here, actually. If we just have a warehouse stuck somewhere here. I could actually stick a warehouse right there. That should be fine. We can't put a farm there, right? No. So, perfectly, we can have a warehouse right there. And this is going to be set to getting pottery. And later on, getting furniture as well. And perhaps oil. So, we're going to do that. Our bunny block is actually... <laughs> So we've drawn a couple new blocks. We've drawn a snail over here. We're gonna draw a snail where the invasions might come from to imply that they should slow down, okay? Whereas the bunny, which is gonna be a symbol of speed uh, uh, and, and productivity, I suppose, uh, we're gonna uh, use for our furniture industry because symbolism is important. Uh, I draw a line says, what type of dog is that on the left? It's not a dog, it's a duck, okay? It's a duck. This this duck is for Flizzy Duck, who's probably in chat right now. Flizzy Duck recommended drawing a duck block in the first place. Bronze Borg says, did I fix the butterfly? Totally fix the butterfly. See, it should be perfectly symmetrical now, except for, is this one, two, three, one, two, three? Yeah, it's symmetrical. And it fixed the wing and everything. So fantastic. Uh, these are now looking good. They need bathhouse access and also uh, pottery, which I think pottery just came down this way. It should have just come down this way. Uh, let's stop importing weapons, please. Because I think we have enough. Uh, we have... Trade even more of the following goods. We don't need more, we need it cheaper. Uh, yes, we have enough weapons right now. Okay, so that's why we're a bit low on money, but I'm thinking caravan just came through. Oh, we can't sell anymore. Okay, that's fine. But I will set this to exporting when over 8 to make sure we do have a stockpile. And also... Uh, what do I want? Uh, furniture. Furniture. Export when this is over 8 as well. Fantastic. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start buying the furniture from here. <laughs> Which is not gonna be good, but uh, I might be able to figure out a way to get around that. How is our employment, by the way? Short by 11. Fantastic. So here comes a few houses to fill up these gaps here. Fire and damage looking okay. Nothing's burning down. I think, I think it's generally okay. Over on this side it looks... Fine, yes, yes. Rome thanks you for your dispatch, favor is at 30, okay. So this is all looking good. Uh, these do now need bathhouse access to evolve, because they do have what they need. Don't worry about that. Uh, I suppose... Two bathhouses like that. Hopefully they get employment. 
Probably should stick a house over on the snakehead, right? Probably. Um... Let's have some houses there. Prefecture and engineer's post on the tongue. <laughs> it's a little strange, but okay. It'll work, it'll work. Alright. So bunny block seems to be actually working. Strangely, it is working. Uh, this, this ear does still look a little fat. Do I want to make it... No, it's actually fine. It's two tiles. Because if I do that, it'll look too thin. That's the, that's the difficulty when you're working with tiles and isometric blocks. Um, you can't quite draw things detailed. Uh, what's the gatehouse for? This gatehouse? It's it's a roadblock. Uh, uh, this, this block is already hard enough to work with. Oh. There we go. These houses are evolving. They now need more entertainment. I did save a spot for it here. For an amphitheater, that is. But at this point, we do need... Uh... Ooh, could I replace the eye of the snake with a fountain? That would make sense and look good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that, that works. The eye of the snake is a fountain. Um, that evolves those. I don't think market ladies really make it up there. I mean, they could. Actually, no, yeah, they, they could very much could. We got three markets here. Uh, three markets is pretty good. Um, how do I want to... Is this actually... Did that reach? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, we do need... Gladiator School. Um, it would be... Yeah, okay. We could put a gladiator school right on the end here. And an actor colony. Right here. So that's sort of like a service extension for things to come down this way. And that's gonna send down the gladiators and actors down this way, which should be okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it works. The two bathhouses seem to be doing their job. Um, the nice thing about this side of the housing is that as long as the service person walks this side, it affects all of these houses except for these two here. It's just this side where houses are on both ends, which is a little tricky. But it should be okay, it should be okay. The snake is crying. Nisimbo! Uh, <laughs> uh, troll call. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, not an advanced Caesar 3 player. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird using gatehouses for roadblocks. It's not, it's not, it wasn't intended, but the developers agreed with it because they introduced the roadblocks later on. So, all right. Um, furniture is starting to come in, which is good. Uh, these houses now need furniture to evolve, so... I guess I set this to getting furniture as well, because there should be enough pottery to go around for now, before I add on more houses, anyway. Perhaps I could move some services up this way, so houses are more down here. Oh, desirability is actually an issue for these guys. That's why they're not evolving. Give it kind of an eyebrow? <laughs> We've given the snake an eyebrow of gardens. Which, yeah, these just need... We, we will end up plazaing up this whole thing. So let's plaza up the tongue, I guess. And maybe the under chin. Or just the whole head. Yeah, we're gonna plaza it up. We're gonna plaza up the snake. Um, do we just plaza up the whole thing? You know, why not? Yeah, that's, the, the snake is now plazaed up. It's fine. Allowing these houses to evolve. No basic educational facilities, no problem. We could just put down another school. Get that going. The five temples should be doing their job. Okay, okay. This, this is strangely working. Ah, I love it. I love how this is actually working. So we could increase our wood production even more actually how's our employment two percent yeah 
So if we go for raw materials timber yard, we can put that down. And then we could put down a couple more furniture workshops, which can go... Here? It's a little strange, isn't it? I think I will put a workshop there. Try to keep the face of the bunny a little clear. Right? Right? Okay, so this should now be getting furniture, right? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Employees needed. Okay, don't worry. We're, we're gonna be evolving these houses further. Enemies closing. Okay, we have money. Do I want to put down another javelin fort? I think I do. Uh, fort javelins. Come on, I should be able to fit one more. I could fit it there. Okay, is that the only spot? I could fit it there, which I think I prefer compared to here. Yeah, okay. So I'll max out my forts now. Fort, javelin. So we'll have five javelins, one legion. There we go. Uh, and just to make sure we can actually pass through here. Yes, okay. We can, right? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, five javelins, one legion. Uh, I, di I didn't want to go straight up six javelin just in case. That's a bit risky. Will we be importing anything by land? Just wine, I think. By sea? Oil. Okay. Okay, so furniture is in. These markets are now going to be grabbing that up. Those houses have evolved. So now, uh, these houses down here don't have a water supply, which is a little unfortunate. I'm going to need to get a reservoir down here. But there is, there is water here already, so... Maybe here. And just for now, I will send it up like this. I'll have to rearrange it once, uh... Do I take up one bit of farmland like this? It's probably the easiest for now, so I'm just gonna do... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Which will allow a fountain... ...to go at the end of this road, and a fountain to... ...get... ...there. Yeah, that should just about hit it. Yes, okay, good. All right, fantastic. And we'll just plaza up that road too. Okay. So this is now all at medium insulase and they need a library and I think they also need, um, where do I put the library? Some of the indigenous people have taken up arms against me. Okay. Where are they? Oh, they're at the snail block. Okay. Um, so first thing, I gotta put a gap there. Get you guys going. Are you all in? Okay, okay. We should have enough troops to deal with any kind of invasion on this map. It's not Mediolanum. So these guys are indigenous. Blackbeard, No Beard, Simon the Terrifying, Greybeard, and Kenneth the Fastidious. Okay. So everyone come on down first while we slowly sort this out. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do something like that. All right, let's deal with this first. How is our furniture industry? It's actually doing okay. All right, all right. Everyone get down here. Let's see if I can lure one group over first. Come on, start shooting. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they caught one of us. Okay, there we go. Just use the legions to stop them. Oh, they can just run right through, apparently. Okay. And they're dead. Did we lose anyone? Don't think so. Uh, maybe two? Maybe two? I think we lost two guys. All right, fantastic. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, uh, libraries. We do need a couple libraries going. I guess I just stick some libraries around. Not sure why these houses just evolved. Oh, they ran out of furniture. I see. Uh, we're just sort of trying to get enough furniture down this side. Uh, how are these markets doing? 50 furniture. Sea trade has been halted for a while. 90 furniture. 200 furniture. Okay. Employees needed. Okay. Yeah, libraries take 20 people each. That's, that's quite a big hit. Uh, I will prioritize this and this to make sure if anything, industry and commerce take the hit. We are way overproducing pottery, but I guess that's a good thing, right? I think I do need another warehouse here. I'm gonna move this farm. So it's not the most efficient in terms of warehouse placement, but okay. So this is gonna be getting furniture and the other one's gonna be getting pottery. Uh, so just pottery, yes, okay. Is currently getting furniture. That house there. Need to get this to evolve. Just put a large statue there. And we'll plaza this up. Come on, evolve. I want this to be a 2x2 two two just to make sure this is actually providing employment access. <laughs> I draw a line says it's working. Look how slow they're going. They, they did take their time to attack. All right, so the snake block is working out decently, surprisingly. Uh, the bunny block is actually working out quite nicely as well. Fantastic. Are we actually selling? Uh, we are selling some furniture. We are selling some furniture. Um, I might not want to sell furniture because it'll, it'll throw things off. Now, meanwhile, we do have to plan our luxury area where we could get luxury palaces, I'm pretty sure. And I want to put it on this side of the world. Um, so where would our ship bridge go? We could just stick it here. We can, I think we can cross pretty much anywhere. But I'm gonna need an animal block that will work for luxury palaces, which are 4x4 four four housing. So I'm gonna draw a big animal here, but I don't know what animal I should draw. Hmm. What animal do you think we should use? for the luxury palaces. It's got to be something pretty open. It's got to be something pretty open. Llama, bronze board. Camel. Llama camel might work, actually. Elephant, maybe. Llama, elephant. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to be something somewhat fat. <laughs> a whale with a water spout. I, I was thinking of doing whale, but we kind of have a baby whale already, so... A cow, maybe. A bear. Bear might be a little tricky. A turducken? No, no. Elephant? I think elephant or llama might work. More storms? Jeez. Okay. Like, I could try draw a llama. Llama sounds good. Should it be there? I think it, it kind of has to be there. This is too big, I think. Uh, let me go. It's got to come down a bit. What's a llama look like? <laughs> it's got like a somewhat long neck, so that's got to be like that. Maybe I shorten the face. The face looks a bit too long. Um, this is definitely too skinny, don't worry. Uh, but it's gonna come down here, and it's got like a little tail, right? A little tail. And then it's gonna be much fatter, right? Like that. That's too fat? I don't know. 
I, I, I might need picture reference. It's not that fat, right? It's more like that. And then it has like... Four legs. <laughs> I might... I might need... I might need a, some picture reference, but we've hit 2,000 people as we tried to draw this llama, okay? Okay, I'm trying. It's like a giraffe, but shorter legs. <laughs> I mean... Uh. What's currently wrong with this llama? I, I think I, I'm gonna have to go... I mean, on... I suppose looking at the map, it kinda looks like a llama. Is it? Is it too skinny? Is it too fat? Is it like... That's like a four-legged duck. It looks like a draka. It feels like it's a bit front-heavy, right? It feels a bit front-heavy. Maybe if I... Fatten it up a little bit, it might stabilize the look of it. Okay, so now it looks front-middle heavy, so it looks a bit back-light. So maybe if I extend this and enlarge the tail a little bit. That looks a bit better. That looks a bit better. Think the face is too large? If I just scale the whole face down? Maybe if I add like a bit of a muzzle? <laughs> we, yeah, we gotta reposition the legs now that things changed a bit. That, no, that, if I do that, that looks like a duck. It's gotta be a flat sort of face thing there. Ears! Ears! That's what's missing! I... Ah, that... Yeah. Llamas have ears! How do I do this? It's hard to get this right. It's hard to get this right. That just looks like an alien. Llamas have ears, right. Um... It needs a little... Uh, this At this scale it's hard, but I can't draw it any bigger because uh, we're limited to where we are. If I do that, that's too big, right? That's way too big. If I do that, that looks like a horn. So it's got to be like here. But then this is too far back. Unless it's kind of looking at you. <laughs> and then the legs will sort of... The legs need to extend somewhat functionally into the farmland, okay? That's, a, that's actually okay. That, that's look... It was the ears that was really missing. You know, and if if we so desired, we could always plaza that the ears up, right? So that would kind of look like a hat. But hey, llamas with hats isn't such a bad thing, right? <laughs> uh, llamas with hats would look like. Mm. It's a llama with a hat. Um, we will be coming back to that later when we want to build our luxury palace block, which uh, it will actually fit. We can fit like three... Yeah, yeah, we can fit like one here, one here, one here. At least three, maybe four. We could fit four luxury palaces on this. We'll probably do three because we don't need the prosperity and it'll just be easier to manage. The Hippodrome will be the killer. Because uh, this doesn't rotate and it needs a road connection. I mean, it'll have to sort of be there, I guess. Uh, I wish we could rotate it. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be like here. Then with like the road extending out like that. 
which is a little weird, but it's gonna have to be because the Hippodrome, you can't just have it touching any road. It's gotta be touch- the road's gotta touch the back like that. Uh, so that won't be the worst thing in the world. But yeah, okay, we will be coming back to that. We will be coming back to that. Ah. Uh, hopefully they eat something appropriate. Only people who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about, you know? <laughs> anyway, furniture is coming on in. Money is skyrocketing now that the sea trade routes have reopened. Mm. All right, let, let's just uh, finish off a few more things here as we establish our city. These now need local access to a barber. So let's just drop down a barber there and a barber here. A couple barbers should do. Um, and I think they need oil, right? So I think if I set this to now also accepting oil for now, because oil is from the sea trade route. Yes, okay. Let's import oil. And this pottery, no, furniture. No, pottery seems to be fine. We'll also get oil. Yes, yes. So we'll bring in some oil so we can get these up to large insulates at least. Okay. And I think I will extend just some extra housing there. What is our current employment? 1%. Okay, we'll bring in a few more people here just to get that going. Um, school, gladiator. Okay, that should be fine. Entertainment comes down this way. Why is this devolving? Desirability, okay. Give you guys some medium statues there because we can. Okay, keep you guys up at medium insulates. Once we get to large insulates, that'll be a two, uh, two by two. Um, we might need like one more farm just to keep things going here. And also, can we fit a farm here? We can fit a farm there. This reservoir really doesn't have to be this close, right? I'm gonna shift this reservoir to here. Like that. So we get rid of that, get rid of that, replace the road there. And that should allow that to evolve while maintaining all of this. There we go. And allowing one more backup farm to go there. Maybe not there. We might need to turn that into a statue or something. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Or maybe I need to shift that farm over. So this wheat farm Maybe, maybe if I just change this to, like, a large statue. That might work, right? I don't know. We'll wait for the oil to come in. We have imported some. Fantastic. So that's going to start coming through. That's from the water trade route. The llama... I think it looks like a llama now. I think it looks like a llama, right? I, I think so. Okay. So in this episode, we have drawn out the snail, the bunny, and the llama. Which, this is actually gonna work for, <laughs> for uh, high-level housing. And we will be able to fit the Hippodrome, right? Yes, yes, just making sure. The, the Hippodrome is the scariest thing. And now we should actually be able to put that ship bridge over. Which will align up nicely here. Or here. So we could connect up to this road or this road. I think uh, that one just looks a little bit better. That uh, costs 800. They cost the same, so it doesn't matter too much. So we're going to have that just allow us access over. And we're going to need to just plan... Like that. Right? Three houses like that. That should work. We're going to need a lot of space for service buildings because things are just going to be a bit messy here. But I will just go ahead and preemptively put like a prefecture and engineer's post next to all of these houses to make sure nothing 
ever absolutely burns down or collapses, right? We could have the farms go there, okay. Uh, that engineer's post definitely cannot remain there. We should shift that to... Like there for now, right? Okay, so we'll just plan for now that this will be where the three luxury palaces will go. Expand into the two corners of the body and one on the back. One from the back of the neck there. Yeah, yeah that should work. That should work. I draw a line says it's gonna have one big leg. If I do need a road connection, it will. But yeah, you said don't need to road things together. Yeah. I mean, having one big leg isn't the worst thing, but the legs aren't even even right now. We don't need that many farms because it's actually just going to be like three houses. Oh, uh, our... the... the... we could import meat, right? Which is the land trade route? Fantastic. The land trade route means we can actually just have it over here. So there we go. We've got this sort of setup. Unemployment 1%. Fantastic. These... We'll just keep the gardens going on the back of that. And everything actually looks like it's working okay, right? Um, needs a supply of oil. We do have some oil here. Are these markets taking oil? Not yet. Yeah, we're just waiting for the oil to be taken because I really want to get large insulators going. This duck block, this worker block is... <laughs> uh, Sorry, Flizzy Duck, but your your block is just like peasant workers right now. Um, Alright, some oil is finally being taken by which markets? I'd like to know. Come on, evolve into large insulates. There we go, yes, yes. This one? They're all just waiting for a supply of oil. Did this market get any? No, that market didn't. So these two markets got oil? Yeah. And I think we will just put, uh... Maybe a medium statue at that intersection. Get these houses evolved a bit. Come on, I, I want... This one evolved to large insulate. I, uh, come on, I wanted this house to have... That, that's the main house I wanted to evolve into a large insulate. Come on. All right, more oil has come down. Those have evolved. Needs... Um, education needs to be improved by access to a school. Okay. Uh, no problem. Have as much of that as you want. Now, school. Where are these school kids running? Really? That's the path you take? These school kids. That's the path you take in life? That's a terrible path. Don't do that. Um, let's just try to shift the school over there and see if they run properly. And there we go. We've got the large insulate on the back of this. So this is the, the highest level housing we will be going for because um, we only need 45 prosperity and we uh, grand insulates would just be too much of a hassle. I think we should be able to get down another farm there just in case. That's looking good for this little access on the back here. We could keep just sort of pushing resources up. These three markets seem to be doing quite well. I think I can expand roads to there. And I think uh, we'll just back up a doctor there because I, one doctor probably isn't enough, right? Actually, one doctor is, is fine, uh, but I guess we'll have two doctors anyway. Okay, so favor rating should be... How did it go down? Does it just go down over time? Oh, I forgot to drop my salary. I don't need this much. Um, I don't need any. This this has carried over from... from I always forget to drop my salary. Uh, <laughs> that would have helped earlier on, I guess. Um, but it's okay. Uh, military has maxed out, which is fantastic. Now, uh, how's employment? Unemployment of 3%. Uh, can we just, like, get a granary here or something. Yeah, because of the position of the houses, having the granary here will be okay? No, actually that's that's not good. 
Uh, the granary should go at the end of a road somewhere. Like here. So it'll go down that way. And then we could have... We are under attack. Okay. No problem. I'm gonna need three granaries here, actually. So I guess I have three granaries. And to stabilize employment. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two three, four. If I just have like a two by two house there, and I limit that with statues like that. Have a two by two house there, it will stabilize employment, okay. So I have these three granaries, and these are gonna be accepting uh, wheat, vegetables, and meat. And I'll just preemptively put down wheat and vegetables. Okay, now where are we being invaded from? This side? Okay, no problem. We'll grab you, you're gonna go there. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah, let's deal with this invasion. And then, I think we've, we've made some very good progress this time. All right, let's... Oh, you haven't rotated. Now let's lure you guys into our troops here. Bring you forward. Just... Just skewer everyone, please. Fantastic. And I don't think we lost a single person. Nope. Not a single one. Fantastic. Okay. So this is gonna get going. That's gonna get going there. We're gonna need some reservoirs, I think. A reservoir could go here and maybe back here a bit. Reservoir... There and... There. Okay. Allowing us to get fountains. Right. Does that cover it? And there. One, two, three. Yes, that's actually perfect. That, that one fountain covers almost everything. It's just this one side there. Okay, so that looks good. That's gonna stabilize employment here. Okay, okay. Now, what else do we need on this side? We've imported a ton of oil, geez, okay. Um, I think we do need one more warehouse here. Because things just, I don't know. Maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay. Because we, we're not going to use that much oil, right? No access to any local religious facilities, really. Oh, we don't have a fountain here. Uh, that's important. Yeah, right there. Okay. So, our population has crossed 2,000. We've started our luxury llama. A luxury llama. A luxury llama. Are the granaries like shoes for the llamas? Yeah, well, it's wearing a hat, so it's got to have shoes, right? It's got to have shoes with the hat, you know? you got to have matching accessories, so... They don't match, by the way. Granaries and plazas are very different aesthetically, but... Um... <laughs> and it's missing a shoe. The, the luxury llama is missing a shoe. This is going to be called a luxury llama. And you guys are saying, Zach God's... They are irritated, apparently. They're, they're not happy. Um, and actually, since we've been having unemployment, I really should be deleting some of these houses, right? Um, like that. You know what? Let, let's have a warehouse here. Because I want to import a little bit of marble to get the oracles going. So we can have happy gods. Happy gods would be good. Uh, who sells? Is it land? Land trade route? Yes. Okay, so let's import some marble. 
because we have 9,000 denarii here. Uh, food supply looks okay. Oil's coming in. Pottery is being distributed, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is... How does this place have no religious facilities? There's not a single temple walking down this way? Really? Not a single... Okay, there we go. No, no. That's so strange. Oh, there we, there we go. Okay. We have so many priests walking around. You'd think some of them would reach that. Did that just run out of furniture? Okay, we might need another market here. Right? Like another market right there or here. Just to help stabilize. Four markets should cover the whole snake. Okay. So now we've got some... Uh, of that in, we can go ahead and maybe put down some oracles. Like there. And here. Okay, that should keep the gods happy. We could have an oracle there as well. That looks good. Alright, the luxury llama is coming along uh, nicely. The luxury llama and the peasant duck um, are contrasting, aren't they? They're, they're contrasting. Ah. Uh. Grim Totsu says it's Cinderella Lama, because it's going from poor beginnings to, wow, look at that, that just, that just, you know what? Cinderella Lama, you're gonna get plazaed up. But I'm gonna leave that unplazaed so it looks like, it still looks like ears, yeah? Um, that, that, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, but yeah, we've just plazaed up the Lama. Luxury Lama is looking a bit more luxury now. And I think that is a good conclusion to part two of the city because uh, military is maxed out, pottery is way over the top, snake block has been developed. It's, uh, it's struggling a little bit, but I think we'll get it there. I think I just need to not have the houses here and instead have the houses over here instead, right? That would make more sense. That would make so much more sense. Uh, <laughs> So we will move, well, uh, put another fountain over there. And that will actually cover everything, okay. So that's gonna make so much more sense. Snake block developed, bunny block has been put down. Snail block has been there as a warning for invaders and... Uh, oh, Grimtozo says it's Cinderella Llama because it's missing a shoe. The missing granary. Oh, which prince has the missing granary? <laughs> And yeah, I think that is a good conclusion to phase two of the animal blocks on Tinges. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of phase two in Tinges of Caesar 3. The animal blocks are surprisingly coming along very, very nicely. We've developed the snake block and the luxury llama is on the way. But anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just click the buttons on the screen right now and it'll take you to phase three where we will be getting luxury palaces, hopefully, <laughs> on the luxury llama and just finishing, like, boosting up our population and actually using all the money we're earning to get everything properly going. But until then, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.